Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com. In our last lesson, we finished up our series on chart patterns by looking at strategies for trading the triangle chart pattern. In this lesson, we're going to start a new series on technical indicators um, with a look at what technical indicators are and how traders use them in their trading. Technical indicators are basically mathematical formulas which uh, are derived from the price action of a financial instrument and or the volume traded in that financial instrument. The results of these formulas are then displayed above or below the price chart um, of the financial instrument and are used to help predict future price movement. When used in conjunction with other forms of technical analysis such as the chart patterns which we've learned up to this point, um, technical indicators can be a powerful tool to help assist traders in making their trading decisions. Indicators can be broken down into two main categories, leading and lagging indicators. As their name suggests, leading indicators were developed to try and signal future price action. As most of these indicators are developed uh, to try and gauge price momentum from relatively recent price data, they tend to generate lots of buy and sell signals um, and therefore are normally used in range-bound markets. Um, it's important to keep in mind that while some traders like the ability to enter more trades, uh, leading indicators also tend to generate more false buy and sell signals than lagging indicators. Lagging indicators, on the other hand, uh, were developed to help you understand where the market has been and where it's likely to go as a result of that. Um, as this is the case, these uh, indicators are normally used by trend followers and offer little value in range-bound markets. Secondly, because these indicators were designed to help you catch and stay with the trend, um, they normally generate less trading signals than leading indicators do, which is a positive from the standpoint of that also means less false trading signals, but a negative from, a stand, a negative from the standpoint of that normally means they get you into the move later than a leading indicator would. One of the biggest issues with technical indicators is to trying to determine how sensitive to make the indicator to price action. Um, the less sensitive you make the indicator to price action, the less, like you, le less likely you are to catch false trading signals, um, but also the more likely you are to catch the move late or to miss the move entirely. Uh, conversely, the more sensitive you make it to price action, the more likely you are to get into the move and catch it early, uh, but also the more likely you are to get false trading signals. Okay, so these are some of the things we're going to explore in later lessons. That's our lesson for today. Um, you should now have a good understanding of uh, technical indicators and how traders use them in their trading. In the lessons that come, we're going to look at uh, some of the more common indicators, starting with the moving average, okay, and how traders use that in their trading. So we hope to see you in those lessons. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And have a great day.